one of the worst criminals of the last 50 years, Manuel Noriega, who is seeking millions and millions of dollars because he is a minor figure in a game called Call of Duty, uh, in which he's portrayed for what he is, one of the most brutal dictators and killers uh, in the world. Well, in this lawsuit against uh, Call of Duty, a great deal is at stake beyond just Call of Duty. <laughs>
that would definitely be something that would catch you off guard and raise a lot of questions. This mission was the fourth mission in the game and it was titled Suffer With Me. And even though it's only the fourth mission, this was arguably one of the most important missions in the entire game of Black Ops 2. So in this mission of Black Ops 2, Frank Woods and Alice Mason have the objective to go capture Manuel Noriga and completely destroy his reputation just to get close to the other antagonist in the game, Raul Menendez. So after his grandkids told him about his role in Black Ops 2, Manuel Noriguez took the opportunity to file a lawsuit against Call of Duty, saying that he did not consent to his likeness, portrayal, or anything like that to even be in the game in the first place. Noriga never gave the explanation as to what he told his grandkids about why they had to capture him in the game. But he definitely probably lied or whatever, or maybe he told him the truth, who knows. So Activision then started hiring attorneys as soon as they got the lawsuit. And the only one whose name I could really find was a man named Rudy Guluani. And in Activision's legal papers, they stated that Noriga's character didn't even play a major role in the game. In fact, it went as far as to say that his role was very minor in Black Ops 2. So this led to Noriga's attorney, of course, countering that statement saying that the mission that featured Noriga in it was arguably one of the most important levels of the game. And in my opinion, if I'm remembering Black Ops 2 correctly, I think this is the mission where where it like seals the fate of Alex Mason. Um, I think Hudson also dies in this mission and it definitely sets up the main event in the game like the last few missions to conclude the story. So I would say that this mission is a very important mission. His character may have been minor in the game, but the mission that he was in was definitely one of the most important missions in the game. And the Riga's attorneys definitely did everything that they could to help win this case. Like they even brought in screenshots of Nariga in the game, like holding a shotgun, shooting other people in the game with machine guns, even Nariga getting like beat up and choked out in the game. They even went as far as to include a screenshot of the main character, which is you, like the first person shooter, aiming at Nariga in the game. Like, bro, they tried to do all they could to win this lawsuit. And much like the Jonas Savimbi case went, this ultimately just didn't work. It's very hard to win like these defamation of character lawsuits and copyright lawsuits, whatever, when you're actually like a historical figure because then there's like other things that ties into it and all types of things. So the case was ultimately dismissed and Call of Duty got off scot-free again with using historical figures in a game where they either change the story, drag the story, or just put them in the game without asking anybody in their family and things like that. Which you can't really fault them for because once again, it is history. Like, when, like, you did do that. You were a dictator. So, I don't even really know what his argument was other than the fact that he didn't agree to be in the game. But comment down below what you think about these lawsuits Call of Duty have got strictly just on Black Ops 2. Like, I don't know if this has happened with any other games, but it's mostly been Black Ops 2. Actually, it's just been Black Ops 2 because Jonas Savimbi was in the very first mission of Black Ops 2, which his kids ended up suing Call of Duty for. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll leave it down below in the description or I'll put it somewhere around here. And of course, this mission, which was the fourth mission of Black Ops 2 and arguably one of the most important missions in the game. And this led to the grandkids in the Riga having to capture their granddad in the game and ruin his reputation. It probably was a very weird thing for them to do. So just leave your comments down below about what you think about Call of Duty. Just getting off scot-free with using these characters or historical figures without any type of consent from their family or kids, grandkids, whatever the case may be. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button to join the trap house with the biggest trapper. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If not, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback to me. As always, I appreciate all the love and support. And I'll catch y'all boys in the next banger, man. Bye. Have a beautiful time.